Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm gonna start preparing you some videos about how to fix motherboards, especially Apple and Samsung, because those two phones are to the most, I mean those two brands are to the most. In uh, this video actually I'm gonna show you the most easiest phone to fix. It's a 5S, it's similar, the motherboard actually is it's, it's quite similar to 5C. So, um, this one is completely dead. It comes on only if the battery is charged up, and that is uh, it, go, it, it goes to die if uh, the battery goes really low and you can't charge it in time. So, that's the main reason why these phones are dying. Actually, they're not dead, it's just uh, a chip uh, it breaks down. And uh, in order to power it up again, you have to charge the battery separately, which means the motherboard is faulty. Why is this happening is because most people are charging their phones with a fake charger like a, it might be a copy charger which is much cheaper to buy than the genuine one and the most the most um, common fault with these phones are people are charging their phones in the car you know which gives too much current it likes let's say they, they use a car charger which gives up to 2 amps and because there's no sort of protection there the, this chip is actually uh, breaking down and uh, it can't charge the battery anymore so as you as you saw it uh, recently I tried the phone without battery connected if the charging chip is okay it should draw about 100 milliamps which means uh, the boost mode of the battery is actually activated and is gonna charge the battery even if the battery goes up to zero down to zero volts yeah so if that's damage definitely if the battery goes lower than 3.7 i think volts uh, the battery is not going the, the phone actually is not going to go uh, on anymore so in order to fix this problem all you have to do is just replace the main charging i see this is the only way you can check with iphone 5 till 7 8 plus as well if the battery is if the phone does not come on just apple logo without the battery it means the, the main charging IC is gone that's the only way you can try without a USB tester to show you exactly how much current does it take okay guys so without all being said remove the antenna remove the shield temperature I use is 480 degrees and low air if you go a scale from 0 to 10 for the uh, uh, volume air just use like 3 to 4 that's like 30 to 40 percent of your the whole power uh, from your station it should be enough remove the shield remove the chip you will see me uh, using like aluminum tape as well in this video I mean every single motherboard I do I cover the motherboard the rest of the area with some aluminum foils do not leave the motherboard unprotected you might spread too much heat over the NAND or m might be over the main power IC and the phone can uh, go on the short full throat and that will take you more time to diagnose and uh, repair it after so m the most phones I do are uh, customer, customers phone and they got uh, sensitive data so of course you don't want to kill the phone just take precautions use tape and uh, if you don't have this tape just put a coin on top which you'll actually see me using it it will protect as well so remove the chip clean it proper you're gonna see, you'll see me using some, some sort of uh, tools try to get these ones as well really cheap it's not more than two three dollars and uh, that's pretty much all thanks for watching guys and uh, please enjoy and uh, if you got any questions just uh, ask me see you guys cheers bye bye